Hello my friends. My name is William Fargo. In the early 1860s I was honored and privileged to serve as the 27th mayor of the city of Buffalo. Now I hasten to add at this point that I was not a professional politician. Now I had never run for elective office, but I felt that during that difficult time in our nation's history, I could bring the skills and abilities that I had acquired as a successful businessman to the office of mayor. And evidently the people of Buffalo agreed with that concept because they elected me twice. Now you're probably more familiar with my name in connection with one of the more iconic businesses that I was affiliated with. Yes, I am the Fargo of Wells Fargo, a company founded in 1852 by my good friend Henry Wells and myself right here in the city of Buffalo, New York. Several years prior to that, we had been involved in the formation of another express business in Buffalo called the American Express Company. And both American Express and Wells Fargo operated their headquarters out of Buffalo for many, many years. Now, I left the mayor's office in 1866 because I wanted to focus more on my business activities. And I had a personal goal that I wanted to fulfill. I wanted to build a beautiful new mansion for my family to live in. And I happen to own property over on the west side of Buffalo near Jersey Street and West Avenue. And uh, on a building lot approximately two and a half city blocks uh, large, I built a beautiful mansion. It was unrivaled in western New York, and as a matter of fact, there was no larger mansion of its type outside of metropolitan New York City. It had every comfort and amenity imaginable for a person such as myself. But unfortunately, I only was able to enjoy it for a few years because in 1881, I was compelled to relocate my residence from my mansion here to Forest Lawn. And of course, several years later, Mrs. Fargo came to join me. And our family did not wish to continue to operate the estate and the mansion. It was just too large and expensive. So in 1900, they resolved to sell the property. They had the mansion dismantled and the, the building, well, the, the lot was broken up into smaller building lots and homes were erected on those small building lots. In fact, today, people that live in those houses are very proud to, to know that they live on what was once the Fargo estate. Now, I was involved in other, other activities, other business activities uh, during my lifetime. I was uh, very much involved in the railroad industry. In fact, I was one of the directors of the New York Central Railway, recruited to that post by my colleague and my good friend Cornelius Vanderbilt. And in 1863, I became the principal director of the Northern Pacific Railway, which was chartered that year by President Abraham Lincoln. Now, the Northern Pacific was to run a railway line across the northern states and territories to link the Midwest to the uh, timber forests and the gold fields of the Pacific Northwest. And as we built the railway, we located stations at strategic intervals and strategic towns. And there was one small town in North Dakota, Centralia. We located a station in Centralia. And as soon as the railway started operating, Centralia just grew by leaps and bounds. They prospered tremendously because of the influence of the railway on their community. And they grew in a short period of time from a small town to a fairly good sized city. And they were so grateful to me for having brought the railroad to their community that they renamed their city after me. So my friends, if you ever have occasion to visit Fargo, North Dakota, you might want to think back to that Buffalo connection and your old friend, William Fargo. Thank you.